I'm What's gonna do this? Do you know? This Good job. Bye. My, I, I, my, my, my associate took this picture. Uh, uh, I know, um, associate. Mommy, associate, can you, can you all continue uh, taking pictures? Because I don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Start. Okay. Now with, I'm going to teach you about the ant life cycle. Let me get here. I have a question for you. What is a brood? Wow. I never seen an uh, egg of like a like What's a brood? There's many ants in my house, too. But there are black. There's so many black ants in your house? Yeah, but there is really red ants in outside. Okay, There's so what's a brood? A brood but is you're actually a baby ant. <laughs> brood. Oh, baby ant. Yeah. To egg, to larva, to pupa. That's what's <gasps> called a brood. This okay, one? Happens. Here's what happens. Here's how an ant colony starts first. The queen ant uh, mates with a male elate. After that, the male elate soon dies. And the queen elate then actually takes off the wings. Mm -hmm. After taking off the wings, the queen ant will go deep underground when in soft soil. After that, it will make a, like a tiny room where it starts to lay its eggs. The first larva will hatch around the first week or so. After that, you could after that the, after it may take a few weeks for the larva from the larva to turn into an ant. After the ant, after the larva had matured into an ant. It then looks for food for our queen ant. A queen ant can actually live 60 years. Sure? Yeah, maybe 60. Hmm. Yeah, I think 6. Sorry, maybe 30. 30 sorry, 30 years. Years. Again? 40 years. What? 30 years. He said 40 years. <laughs> yeah, that's close. It's 30 years. It's 30 years, Josh, not 40. My but it's close. Yeah. Okay, let's move. Let's move on. Okay. Okay. We're going to teach Look, you about Josh. the ant rank system. The rank system, it show, I just did this so that it, you can show who's yeah. the most important of them I all. I love the ant with wings. Yeah. Here... The number one spot is belong to the queen. This is the queen ant. Okay. Look, the, queen the highest queen of ants. all. The, oh, wow. the queen ant produces many eggs. Maybe mm -hmm. around 1 million, 10 million or more in a life in, in a life. The second one is the elates. Those are the future generations of the queen ant. It includes female and male elate. Wow. Yeah. Map, map, this way, the male and the female elate will fly off and go with other ant colonies. The third one is the soldiers or workers. Help capture food, make more area for their nest, and many, yeah, and many more. Here are the parts of the ant. The first one is the head, which contains the antenna, mandible, and the eye. The second one is the thorax, which has the legs. And the, and the last one is the abdomen. Here's my, here's my associate. Okay. The antenna is used for smell and touch. The mandibles are used for capturing and eating. Well, the eyes, these are also known as the ant eyes, are called compound eyes. It is made out of millions of simple eyes. The legs here, the legs actually, the legs here, you can see here, it has. If you look close in here, there are lots of 
microscopic hair, hairs or something like that, which can sense vibrations in the ground. Uh, and the other one is the abdomen. The abdomen. This the abdomen is has a stinger. Look, oh, that's the abdomen. Has a stinger. Here. Look. Oh wow! Like a. Look. Oh, love the abdomen. Tell me, what animal has stingers? What insect what animal? Have, what insect has stingers? Fear. Fear. Good. Good job. The ant, the ant, some ants also have sulfuric acid. Okay. Formic acid. Ooh. It actually weakens the prey. Moving on. Did you know that an ant can lift up to 50 times their own body weight? Mommy, look. Quiet, quiet. Oh, wow. They lift 50 up body to weight? Times their own body weight. Am I strong? Yeah, they're very strong. Very strong. They are very, when they're going to dug a house. <laughs> the army ants, uh, these guys, are very, oh, very smart. You can wow. also, if you want to learn more about army ants, you can search on Google or see <laughs> here. These ants are always on the move. These army ants, mm -hmm. they don't have a permanent place to stay. Okay. They also make yes. bridges. They also make bridges. With, they made bridges using their body. <laughs> Yeah, they make bridges using their right. body. Also, oh. they're very dangerous oh. numbers. Okay, if you can see here, these army ants are able to take down a crab. That's a crab. That's a crab. Wow. Also, but if you see one of them or a group of them, because they're always together, whatever you do, you should stay away from them. They have very painful stings. Okay, moving on. We're talking about these are actually the first child laborers. What or also they used their these are called the weaver ants. They actually used their brood silk to build a nest. Yeah, a tree, a, for sure a little tree house using their silk. Amazing, isn't it? Also, they also squirt. Again. Sulfuric acid. Sorry. Formic. formic acid. Sorry. They sprayed formic acid. Okay. What does it do? It actually weakens their prey. Here, here's one of my most favorite one. It's what here's one of my most favorite one. Out. <laughs> it's called oh, they're out. Okay. Time to wait. Da 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 do 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 da da do 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 Mm. They can, they, they, can they actually, first farmers, they actually cut off leaves of plants using their mandibles. They also tend to their fungus form by actually, when the leaf gets into the farm, it, they, they crush the leaves and then make it into smaller chunks. If you see here at the top, then after that, they tap the fungus, releasing its spores which land on the leaves, turning it into fungus. To grow, and, right yeah, so to grow. <laughs> I have a question. What do they need this fungus for? Food. Yes, correct, Joss. They use the fungus as their food. Good job. They also sow and tend to their fungus and harvest their fungus from for food as it said here also 
the fungus, and also there are also the antacidinous and fungus. There are also known as fungus. Fungus is actually feed on the fungus. That that's why the ants have to also protect their fungus from the fungus weed. The only place where you can find this fungus feed, the fungus, the fungus is inside the colony. Here is my ant colony called Black Crazy Ants. They are extremely fast. When I mean by fast, they can actually easily so you know the name of ant place without being that much attacked crazy ants. because they're very fast. They're also the, the very first cow herders. Some ants here also herd cows. I don't mean like those big cows that goes moo. Nope. They actually form aphids. Guess what they want from the aphids? If no one answers, it's they actually they get from the aphids called honeydew. If you see here, the aphids are sticking on the plants. What the aphids do, they actually pierce their long proboscis into the plant and extract food. They actually then excrete out honeydew, which the ant really loves. In in return, the ants actually protect the aphids from their from the aphids predators, like ladybugs. And that means the ants and the apes have a symbiotic relationship. Moving okay. on, did you know that look, ants look, actually look, look. invented the internet? <gasps> what the? <laughs> actually, sorry. What the? They're very the fast. What then? What they do when they find food? When they find food, when they find food, they then release a fairy a chemical to actually tell their friends or the other ants, telling them that that there are food. The ants can also share the same thing that the first ant sent to the colony. The, the bigger they are the faster it gets the message of it and then the ants will soon go up here getting the food so that the the, the first ant so that the other ants will be for them to no, find no, it no. they use the pheromone trail the pheromone trails are actually chemicals that they use as like gps to locate their food raise your hands who use gps gps Say no. No. Good. Okay. Also, all ants in the colony are female, except the male elite. They're female, but they're female first, yeah. Then... All the workers, the queen and the brood, are mostly female, but the unfertilized brood are actually males that turn to male elates ants actually don't have ears they don't have ears they don't have ears they don't have ears it's they actually feel, they use their feet your they use their feet to actually feel vibrations in the ground like for what example like a big going in front of them they could feel the vibration going through the ground, which makes them know to go back. Here is the biggest ant queen that I found, around one inch long. Look at that. It's big. Big. Big! There's yeah. also big queen ants in my house! <laughs> yeah. Here are some benefits from ant keeping. <laughs> Number one, it teaches you about science, pattern, responsibility, schedule. Also, it also teaches you about appreciation of nature. I also am an ant keeper myself. I keep a colony of black crazy ants. <laughs> Crazy! What the poop? Look at that. 
bigger. Yeah. If you see here, there are blood. If you see the white stuff here, or the blood. Wow, the brood, oh, that's the brood. <laughs> the baby ants, isn't it? Yeah. Are we correct? Yeah. Yes, those are the baby ants. Mm. Here's, you can use an ant farm or a terrarium. If you don't know what a terrarium, a terrarium is actually an enclosed environment where, for sure, it's like a miniature garden in a glass. This is or an ecosystem in a glass. What happens here? This is where this is where light. This is where you can plant plants, place plants, and design to make it look very pretty. If you want to learn how to actually look, get good design from your terrarium. I recommend you to look at Sherpa design. Sorry, never mind. Never mind that. But the most important thing, if you're going to build an ecosystem, always place decomposers. Decomposers help decompose the decompose dead plants, speed up the process of, to give more nutrients into the ground. And also, you can also place ant colonies there. Because I recommend that the most, it helps the food of the ant or the leftovers or garbage easily decompose faster. You don't need a very big container, but I would recommend you to have a big connector that has a hole that you can connect it to another area. Because some in a, in a maybe a, in time, the ant colony might grow a bit too big. And here's also this might this by the way, if I forgot to tell you about this ant colony here. These are black crazy ants. Black crazy, crazy ants black are crazy. actually. Have you seen the black crazy ants? Yeah, in the house and our guys. Mm -hmm. That we all have. To look. Actually, yeah. you know these black. Immortal? No, now. Oh, actually, the a queen ant can what actually. What does the name? I don't know. Immortal means that they can live extremely wow. long. The colony. The colony. Yeah. What happened? The wow, queen ant can actually really live a male and queen elate which can actually mate without causing DNA dysfunction or making like, or damaging DNA, which could give and some dis, what you call this, disab disabilities. Hmm. For short, the queen can give to, can why, give. Why, what's the difference to the other ants? The other ants, they don't actually do that. When they do that, it will cause DNA dysfunction, causing, causing very bad mutations to the ants. You don't actually mate with their with their own kind, with their own kind. Oh. from the same colony. Yeah. They don't do that, but black crazy ants do. Also, oh, you asked just a question, or just okay. I have an, a question. What do ants eat? What do ants eat? Bungus. Good job. That's one of them. They also eat anything sweet and in protein. Again? Donuts. Yeah, they do they do eat donuts, but only the frosting because it's sweet. They're kind of correct. So good job. <laughs> Them, what's your favorite about? <laughs> so, what is the most favorite thing? So, how I have a question for you. What What is your favorite ant? What's your favorite, favorite thing about ants? Black ants! Black crazy ants! Black crazy ants! Same here. How about us? 